Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian. If it's your first time seeing me, go ahead and like this video because I know you're gonna like it already. Subscribe and turn on this post notification so you never miss another upload. And if you already are subscribed, hey babies, welcome back. So guys, today we are going to be doing a life update and I've been talking in the last couple of videos that I've been needing to do a life update. So I'm super excited to just <sighs> tell you guys what I've been um dealing with and what I've been working on and things like that. But first things first, I wanted to tell you guys again about my book club. Now I have a whole YouTube video about spiritual reads and things like that. But guys, I started a book club not too long ago called Enlightened Reads if you want to join, especially if you're in the Dallas, Texas area, because we're going to be having meetings every single month and we're going to have the first one at the end of April. But especially if you're in Dallas and if you're not, you can still participate online. We have virtual meetings once a week on Instagram and all you have to do to join is just follow the Instagram Enlightened Reads it's on here. Um, so yes, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. There are some new services that I'm offering as well. Um, weekly forecast readings where you guys can book a package for a month and get a weekly forecast reading for every week for four weeks. So yes, make sure you guys check out my website so you guys can see how to book sessions with me and all that. I'll have that on the web on the screen here, but everything is always in the description box. If you guys want to send me stuff, my PO box is down there as well. Literally everything, all the links is all down there. And I'm also back on Twitter now. I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but I'm back on Twitter. Um, my Twitter name is is Madam Pix and um that's what one of my best friends has always called me since I started doing this Madam Pix like Madam Cleo honey um so yeah I'm Madam Pix on Twitter and I just drop gems basically on things that I you know discover and think about throughout the day so yeah I wanted to give you guys the work updates I guess and the social updates before we get into the life updates so let's go ahead and talk about some things that I've kind of been dealing with for sure um I would say around Valentine's Day this life update is long overdue I've kind of been dealing with a lot of different things for a while now but definitely around Valentine's Day I just started feeling really 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 down and just not really feeling myself and if anybody doesn't know I have anxiety and depression um, and it ain't good, you know what I'm saying? I feel like if anything, it's gotten a little worse as I've gotten older. I definitely have more periods of happiness and joy, you know, and just normal emotions, I guess, normal responses. Um, I have longer periods of that, but when I do have depressive episodes now, or when I do have, you know, panic attacks and stuff now, I feel like it is extreme. So for me, um, I really need to take a step back from social media, you know what I'm saying? I... I'm so consumed with posting looks all the time. And this year, 2022, I really wanted to be consistent on my Instagram. I really wanted to grow my Instagram. I'm always at 20,000 followers on Instagram. So I want to grow my Instagram. I'm almost at 100K on here. I feel like I'm almost at 100, even though I'm barely at 80, but I feel like I'm almost at 100, okay? So I just wanted to be productive, 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 productive. I did not want to take any time off or any days off. And I really feel like I just burnt out. You know, I got to the point where I didn't like doing looks and I'm still now kind of shaking back from that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think I did a look. I think I maybe did a look like last week, but I didn't really like it. I kind of just did it just to do it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't really something that I put my time and my energy and my effort into. I love makeup. I love hair. You guys know I used to be a hairstylist. Like, I love getting myself cute. I love dressing up. I love shopping. So being an influencer on Instagram and doing my looks is just as enjoyable for me as YouTube and, you know, talking to you guys. So I really wanted to make sure that I just was consistent but it got to the point where I just really didn't enjoy it you know and I really need to take a break and I had to realize that I was spending too much time as pageant queen pixie because pageant queen pixie is literally a job for me you know this is work like I get paid to make YouTube videos I get paid to you know post pictures and do reels and stuff like that like I make money from that so I was spending so much time working that the real version of me you know Christian I wasn't nurturing her. You know, I wasn't nurturing myself. I wasn't focusing on me or taking care of me. All I was worried about were the looks and the lashes and the nails. I didn't even enjoy, I didn't even enjoy getting my nails done and getting my lashes done. I literally would just go to the appointments and just be like, okay, whatever. Like I'm getting this done for work. It wasn't even something that I enjoyed. And I love taking care of myself and doing that. You know, it's typically something I like, but I got to the point where I just didn't even enjoy it. I didn't even enjoy it anymore. And, um, it just took me a while, I guess. Now, I've been figured this out and been able to articulate this, but I guess it just took me a while to sit down and talk about it um, because it's just been heavy and it's just been emotional, just kind of realizing how I haven't been showing up for myself in that way. And as I started showing up for myself more and making commitment to be better, you know, I also had to accept the relationships around me that weren't going to get any better and support me now that I am making an effort to support myself some more. So 
I definitely have been going against my, not, not, I wouldn't say natural judgment, but y'all know how I am. I'm queen, cut them off. I always tell y'all, fuck them, cut them off, whatever. And that's typically how I am. And I love that about myself. I love that I'm able to detach very easily. Hello, Aquarius moon. But I have been putting myself back in situations where I've been trying to rekindle, you know, certain relationships and just be the bigger person and just make an effort to allow people to kind of show up for me and make an effort to allow people to kind of give me a different viewpoint of them or show me something different. And I recently just got very disappointed um, and just was kind of very overwhelmed to realize like, wow, they still don't give a fuck. They still don't give a fuck. They never gave a fuck. And now I'm having to kind of realize this all over again and reopen this wound all over again and heal from it all over again. And definitely it took a lot, you know, it didn't take as much time to heal from the same wound. But just the fact that I'm not even somebody that gives people second, third chances. You get one chance to play with me and then you could kick motherfucking rocks. You ain't got to play with me twice. You ain't got to play with me twice. So for me to be going against what I feel is right to try to be the bigger person. Like that's why being a bigger person and reaching out, like you always don't have to do that shit. It's a time and place for everything. And sometimes certain relationships, you just need to let that shit go. You know, being a bigger person, just let me get my heart broken again by multiple people again. Like nobody showed me anything different. No one. They all show me the same shit again. And I think it's been years. Like I've gone years without, you know, being in certain spaces and I've gone years on my own. You know, when I've been good on my own, like I have told you guys about this, you know, like majority of my life I've gone through on my own, you know, nobody, there are a few people that are close to me and you guys that know that, you know, the things that I've dealt with, but there's a lot of people that don't know any of the stuff that I've dealt with. You know what I'm saying? I keep a lot of things to myself, a lot of abuse that I've handled and that I've gone through, I keep to myself, um, a lot of issues that I've dealt with and bad habits and addictions and it's a lot of things that I've kept to myself most things that I've experienced due to my mental health issues I keep to myself it's a lot that I don't tell anybody so I am consistently trying to be the best version of myself um and perform even though I know that there are things that I'm dealing with you know I try to put that to the back and be the best version of myself all the time and when I realize that it doesn't work I take a step back and I just focus on me and that's what I've been doing I've been focusing on me like whenever I moved out to Dallas in 2018 that was my focus, me. And when I moved to Atlanta and moved back, again, that was my focus, me. I was focused on me and I was all I, I had. And most of my life, I've been all that I've had. You know, most of my life, it's been me and me and the Lord. You know, real shit. It's been me and God. And I know that's all I need, me and God. But it hurts when I open myself up to give someone a second chance or to see if there is something that can be rekindled. And I realized that it wasn't that it couldn't be but I'm glad that I went through those situations because now I will never do those things ever again in my life I'll never do those things ever again and because I will never do them again I am so much more confident in my decisions you know I don't feel like oh I didn't make the right choice or I don't feel guilty about seeing somebody seeing somebody's viewpoint or hearing them out because when you are someone that is capping cut them off like I am capping cut their ass off you have to deal with so much guilt about damn, should I have given this person another chance? Should I have heard them out? We didn't even really have a conversation. I never really got closure. We never really talked about it. When you just say, I'm done with you, get the fuck out of my life and I'm and just be done, you feel good, but you also feel some moments of guilt because you feel like, damn, like, could they have changed? Could they have done better? Could they have been better? Especially now when I'm in relationships and friendships where I can tell someone some. I can tell someone something and I'll see them get better. Like I've talked to you guys before about friendships where I've had that conversation with friends. Like, I don't think you're supporting me in this way. This doesn't really make me feel good. I feel like this isn't aligning. How can we get back to something that works better for the both of us? You know, I've had that conversation like this in all of my relationships and I'm always able to reach a ground with someone where we are able to grow together. We are able to work together. We are able to, you know, bounce off of each other and see each other move forward. So I feel like being in that space when I've already kind of removed myself from a certain situation and literally voluntarily putting myself back into that same water to get fucked again essentially to get played again to get embarrassed again to get disappointed again um and embarrassed because I be embarrassed for me like even if nobody sees this or hears about it or knows about it I be embarrassed and I know how I look and I literally feel I feel like 
such a little girl and I know the part of me that that hurts like it doesn't even hurt the version that I am today I could give a fuck less about giving somebody a chance and they don't you know they don't care about it my inner child is so gets so like heartbroken and so sad like I weep and I sob when I try to give someone a chance to prove themselves to me and they fumble I sob on the inside when stuff like that happens because it's so rare that you allow yourself to be open again just to get played again you know what I'm saying and this is definitely not something that I typically do but earlier last year you know someone in my immediate family passed away it was very 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 traumatic for everyone involved very 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 traumatic for me um and coming out of that space I really felt like I wanted to be a better person, you know, and sometimes loss and grief can do that to you. It can make you feel like the way to heal this is to be a better person. The way to heal this is to reach out. The way to heal this is to, you know what I'm saying, try a new way, you know, and see what I can do. And, um, you know, that's what happens sometimes when you lose people who are close to you. You feel like you want to make amends and you feel like you want to, you know, just kind of have conversations with people and stuff like that. And, that is what led me to kind of allow myself to be, again, disappointed again by the same type of situation, the same people. And it was definitely really difficult for me. It definitely was really, really humbling because, you know, you guys put me on such a pedestal that it literally still doesn't even make sense to me. You know, so many of you guys tell me that you can't even believe that I deal with anxiety and depression and being shy and being nervous around people. And you guys feel that way. You know, there are people that know me in my life and they think that I am worth a piece of chopped liver on the side of the fucking street. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really put things in perspective to me because I am always in spaces where I am important, you know, where people love me. If I give any of my friends a chance to be there for me, they will show up and try to race and see who gets to be there. Like, and I will do the same thing for them. And I'm used to all, I'm used to support. I'm used to people around me who love me and who show up for me. So when I'm in a space where I'm literally seeing people, so when I'm in a space and I'm seeing people genuinely just don't give a fuck and people are still selfish and still close-minded and just still dumb and trifling and gross and when I see that they have not been working with God it just it disappoints me it makes me feel like damn you know one it makes me feel like this is what I get because I shouldn't have expected anything different but it also lets me lets me see that you know there is still work that I have to do because I still am doing work every single day but I should have never doubted myself and I should have never questioned myself and felt like oh you know I should try to reach out I should have never done that and it's okay because I won't ever do it again and you know what sometimes you have to do that you know what I'm saying and I don't feel bad about it because in certain spaces you have to spin the block again to just make sure you made the right choice and now that's something that I don't have to worry about for the rest of my life. So I feel happy that I made that decision to go back, even though I did get disappointed again. Because if I wouldn't have done that, then maybe I would have been 80 years old thinking like, dang, should I have went back and, you know, try to mend fences with this person? Because sometimes that happened. And I always tell people in readings, like, if you aren't done with the relationship, if you aren't done with the friendship, don't just force yourself out of that. If there is something else that needs to be discovered there for you, then do it. And whatever you need to see to let you know that it doesn't need to be in your life anymore, you will see. And if there is a glimmer of hope, then you will see that as well. So that's basically what I put into the universe. Let's just see. Let's just see. Let's see if everyone can make it happen. Let's see if everyone can do something great. Let's see if everyone can prove me wrong and everyone proved me right. And just let me know that I was right for eliminating them from my life the first motherfucking time around. So... Dealing with that after dealing with the identity crisis of I'm spending too much time as pageant queen pixie, the real me isn't really getting nurtured. Dealing with, you know, that and then the disappointment back to back definitely has bitch slapped, <laughs> bitch slapped me for sure. And definitely giving me a wake up call and um, just allowed me to be very present in this moment. And it's also allowed me to make corrections so when I move forward I'm in a stronger space I'm in a better space I'm in a space I'm in a space that serves me more you know what I'm saying you can never ascend you can never grow you can never learn you can never get to the next level if you are not willing to bleed a little bit if you're not willing to cry a little bit if you're not willing to you know be be a little painful a little uncomfortable and right before I stepped into the situation again 
I was just saying, I don't want to cry and I don't want to go back to therapy. And I was sad. Like I was about to go back to therapy. I haven't been to therapy in years, but I love therapy and therapy works. Um, I just don't really like going to therapy because all I do in therapy is cry. I feel like all I do in therapy is cry. I don't really feel like I get anything. I feel like I just sit there and cry the whole time. But sometimes you just need to cry. So I did not want to go back to therapy because I didn't just want to sit and sob. But I definitely do not like crying. Like I've gone years without crying before. I am not someone that's comfortable with crying. But as I've gotten older, definitely as I've become a woman, you know, and definitely after my second spiritual awakening, I embrace, I try to embrace crying because I know it's a very powerful release. But oh God, it hurts like hell. It feels like you're being ripped from your inside out. You know, like I feel like because I'm so much more connected right now to my spirit and my energy, when my feelings are hurt, it literally feels like I'm cracking from the inside out. Like I know for a fact that people can literally kill themselves and literally die from just being so miserable and so sad because it literally starts to affect you physically how sad you are. So I feel like I have definitely been in the school of life. I've definitely been learning a lot of different things and just figuring out different ways to approach different things. So moving forward, I'm making better decisions for myself and better decisions for my family. And I'm making decisions that are going to benefit me in ways that I can see and feel and touch in, in all spaces. So yeah, that's basically what I've been dealing with. And of course, um, we have this new moon coming up. I don't know when you guys are going to see this, but we have a new moon coming up. We just had the spring equinox. So a lot of energies have kind of just been recycling anyway and transforming anyway. And I'm definitely ready for the transformation, but I wanted to give you guys this life update to let you guys know what I've been dealing with. And also to just kind of let you know that we are all human and that we all deal with the same things. And don't you for a motherfucking second think that I am not dealing with the stuff that you are dealing with just because I look good and I'll be on here talking. That don't fucking mean nothing. You know, anybody could get up on here and talk really. So yeah, um, I just wanted to kind of level with you guys a little bit and talking to you guys always makes things better. And I feel like talking to you guys is always my last step before I close the chapter on something and move forward. So I'm ready to close the chapter on this. And I thank you guys for listening and just being here with me in this space. And I feel good. So feel good for me because I feel good. Um, and I feel like I was able to see the things that I needed to see. And now I'm in a space where I'm just ready for the future. You know, I am moving into a three-bedroom home, honey, mm, 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 in two months. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys like house stuff. And if you don't, I don't know what to tell you, but I'm definitely going to be showing you guys like house stuff. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing like an empty house tour. I'm definitely going to be showing you guys how I decorate. And I'm going to have an office and a cat room and a master room and a little library. I am so fucking excited. I'm so excited and I have been stacking my bread for this move okay so it's gonna be fabulous um there's a lot of new things that I'm ready to do for you guys and a lot of new spaces that I'm stepping into so it's only natural that I kind of phase out of this chapter of my life and I learn whatever I need to learn right now in this in this situation so I can move forward and I don't have to carry all of that you know the longer you don't look at it the the heavier it gets and the more you have to carry it and I always say that release is acceptance and release is just being able to look at it without cringing um so yeah I challenge you guys to look at your mess too without cringing and just face it and deal with it I'm gonna move forward and trust yourself and trust God and trust your support system because when I was in those tough spaces please believe I was crying on my man's shoulder and talking to my best friends every day and telling them exactly how I was feeling and they were in the trenches in the mud with me and you always have a support system even if it feels like you do even if it feels like you don't and even if it's just you and God because I've been in rough spaces before like I said and it was just me and God for a really 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 long time and I'm so blessed that I, that I have a family now that I can call on that can you know give me the things that I need but um but yeah you know reach out to your community talk to God and just you know heal and move forward that's that's what life is about so yeah I appreciate you guys for being here and I thank you guys as always make sure you guys check out the book club and everything else that I talked about in the beginning of the video um I'm excited to move forward and yeah I hope you guys are feeling good and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys later. Bye guys. Bless.